Let's take a look at the force directed graph demo. Uh, this particular version is sponsored by IFTF, the Institute for the Future. And the goal of this demo is to show a little bit more of a story and more of a progression of the graph. So here we start with a table and our force directed graph has been flattened down into two dimensions. So this is more like a traditional force directed graph that you'd use on your computer screen. Um, but uh, we can still touch it and interact with it uh, using our hands. Um, so these guys slide around kind of like, uh, I don't know, an air hockey table. Push them around and see how they react. Now we have four main steps, oops, four main steps to this, uh, this version of the demo. Uh, the first one says that we want to extend this graph into the third dimension. So here we go. So the graph pops out into 3D, and now we can interact with it and push them up and down and all around. Uh, the table went down a little bit. Um, we can still hit them against the table. The table's got kind of a uh, little bit more of a reflective surface on it compared to what the floor has. Um, the next step says that we can merge new data into the graph. So here you can see that new nodes and edges are gradually uh, fading into view. In this case, we have um, what sort of represents a uh, server and client system. So these guys in the middle are servers, and these ones out here are clients that are connecting to those servers. Uh, and then in this case, we also have a little cluster where the clients are, I guess, communicating with each other. Step three says that we can immerse ourselves in the graph. So this will grow the graph up to room scale, where we can interact with it as usual. Um, these things will now hit on the floor, the table goes away, we can start walking through it. The last step is just to bring us into full control and sort of a free play mode where we get the uh, original menu panel back, so we choose control. Um, so now from the original demo, we've got this graph where we can change the colors, the height and scale of the graph, the forces applied to the graph, so more gravity or less gravity, that type of thing. More bouncy or less bouncy. And we can also rebuild the graph. Um, that, will, that will just do the uh, randomly generated one with new colors and things. Uh, and then close this away if we don't want it. Hit these around. And finally, if we go back to the keyboard to reset the demo for the next uh, Next viewer, we hit the space bar. Flattens it back, brings the table up, and we're ready to start again.